Grand National course for this one then. Three and a quarter mile beach chase. And let's take a look at them. 0 to 160 again. Top one, Flashpoint, Leon Van Rensburg, Lord of the North, Joshua Sutherland, Little Green Bang, Ryan Tamasemi, Rap Top Skoda Car Chase, Leon Van Rensburg, Deck Castanea, James Shea, Reality Check, Ryan Tamasemi, Toulon Ballard, James Shea, Kerry's Gill, John Morgan, Kerry Solo, Limerick, David Robertson, Shamadal Phantom, Thomas Rogers, Alger Flyer, Martin Leader, Ultra Cool, Graham Clutterbuck, Florence Nightingale, Paul Rose, Wider Smiles, Darren Thompson, and Gypsy King, Alex Cherry. There's your runners then. Off they go and they're racing down towards. The first is a very short run to the first, then they're all safely over it, and Lord of the North is in the lead. And taking them towards the second of the 21. Not 100% sure where we are on the course, but I do know for one thing for certain, Lord of the North is now not in the race anymore, and the jockey's on the deck. That looked to me like it might have been the big ditch that's number three in the Grand National, but um, you know, towards the next we'll see, and the loose horse is taking them along, and there's one out and that is Lord of the North and Deck Castanea is now the leader so Deck Castanea it is then who leads from Florence Nightingale second and Kerry's Girl third Look at the way they're running now I reckon that that big ditch that the uh, um, Joshua Sutherland horse for that was Valentine's and um, that may have been the point from where we started the race. So anyway, Kerry's Girls in the lead. Florence Nightingale is second. Deck Castaner is third. This does appear to me to be now the long run towards the home straight or whatever. So over that one they go. Anyway, never mind. Florence Nightingale, nobody watches anyway. So Florence Nightingale is in the lead. Deck Castaner is second. And then Toulon Ballad is third. Ultra Cool is fourth. And they can have a little bit of a jerk about there then as we see the crowd over there there I think will be the last on the next circuit and we're going to be making our way towards the chair next so Florence Nightingale leads the um, the beach of field then as they come down towards what should be the chair there's the grandstand so yeah this is the chair we know where we are now some people should say I shouldn't know anyway I probably would do if it wasn't four o'clock in the morning but anyway Florence Nightingale's in the lead and Toulon Ballard is second and Ultra Cool and Little Green Bag and Kerry's Girl and Deck Castanea this is the water jump and they're all safely over that one as well with a couple of greys towards the back of the field there carry solo limerick and wider smiles but it's florence nightingale that leads and paul, paul road has been a bit sneaky this season he's got two florence nightingales he's got one on the flat and one on the jumps and he spoke the two slightly differently i wonder if he did that on purpose or that it was an accident i don't know we'll have to ask him he's not been as vocal as normal in the forums this season and um Good to hear from him, see what he's um, what he thinks about that, whether he did it on purpose or whether he did it by accident. Fortunate. Anyway, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Florence Nightingale comes down to the next, and this will be the this would be the first in the Grand National, and Little Green Bag has gone there, so that's that one out of it. And Florence Nightingale still in my lead. Kerry's girl is second. Ah, another one's gone. And Toulon Ballard is the next one to go. I was having a chat with Grady the other day, and I said to him, you should rebuild this course because the fences aren't big enough. We don't get enough fallers. So maybe he's just won the argument there not to. I don't know. But um, we've lost three already. And Florence Nightingale is in the lead. Kerry's Girl is second. Ultra Cool is third. And Deck Castaner is fourth. And they've got a mile and a half to go. I remember all that bit over the back there used to be trains. I'm very old. I'm much older than most people who are involved in this. Well, it's probably one or two people older than me, but not many. If any, to be honest, I don't think. But anyway. I remember this one. It was a man's race. Well, not this race, because it didn't exist then. But this course, anyway. I'm just becoming John Frank. And this is Beaches Brook. And there was a time where you took your life in your hands to jump over that. And now it's just... Like a normal fence, isn't it? Anyway, Ultra Cool's in the lead. Kerry's Girl is second. Florence Nightingale is third. And there you go. That just sums it up, doesn't it, really? The smallest fence on the course, and the leader makes a mistake. Uh, Ultra Cool in the lead, then Kerry's Girl second. Florence Nightingale, Wilder Smiles, Reality Check. And over the canal turn they go. I'm being totally thrown by the fact that this has been filmed from the wrong side of the track. Normally, See these from the other side. It was the 1930s and 1940s on Pathé film, whatever it was called, where you used to 
see them from this side of the track. But on the other side, you can tell where you're going because there's certain little bits of bushes and things that show you what fence it is. But when you're on the inside, you don't see them till soon enough, and it's quite confusing, really. But probably looks quite good if you're watching it. But if you're commentating on it, it's a nightmare. Anyway, over that one again, that one was um, the 18th. And it's Florence Nightingale, Emma Lee, Reality Check is second. And then Carisola, Limerick, and Kerry's Girl. And they come down towards the 19th. Now that's the third and last. And they'll be making their way towards the straight now. And they'll be crossing the Millin Road shortly. There you go. And Florence Nightingale still leads. Reality Check is second. Carisola, Limerick, Ultra Cool. Shamarel Phantom. I was a flyer fell a while ago. I didn't even notice that. That's mine. So. It just shows you that it's time for me to take a break from all this, I think. And anyway, it's Carisola Limerick who's now come through to take it up. And leads by a length to Florence Nightingale second and then Reality Check and Dick Castanea. And Wada Smiles as they take the second last. And Carisola Limerick got over that one nicely and is a good two and a half lengths clear. Just one to take now then. Pops over it. And Carousel Limerick looks like it's going to take this one pretty cosily. It's a good long run in though, so maybe he's not actually. And Florence Nightingale is now coming through to challenge again. And Reality Check's also trying to run on, so apologies to David Robertson for making you think you might win this. But Florence Nightingale looks like it's going to take it. But oh, maybe not. Carousel Limerick trying to fight back. But no, it's Florence Nightingale wins it. And a winner. Round the Grand National Course of Paul Rhodes takes us back to the days of Coffee to London or whatever. And there you go. It's a win. In the beach chase for Paul Rhodes. I don't think it'll be back for the National that one because it's not going to get into the handicap, is it? Because it's only a three and a quarter mile one, this one. Forest Nightingale, Paul Rhodes, the winner. Carisona, Limerick, David Robertson, Reality Check, Ryan Thomas, Every wrapped up Skoda Car Chase. Leon Van Rensburg and Dick Castaneda, James Shea. That's your one, two, three, four, five. Over.